It's vegan recipes with Pat and Emily. Hey guys, thanks for stopping in. We've got a treat cooking up today. We are going to make enchilada suizas, but we're gonna make them vegan. And we are gonna start by cleaning our tomatillos. And I have some from my garden, so let's get started. These are what the tomatillos look like growing in my garden. They grow in like these little paper lanterns. So first thing we're gonna do is peel them. Some people, when they do this, they like to take these little cores out. I don't really think it matters. I'm leaving them in. I'm all about using the whole plant. And these do get like a weird little stickiness on them, so I'll give them a quick rinse. I'll finish peeling these, and I also have some jalapenos, green peppers, and onions. I just cut these up and took the tops off and the seeds out. If you do have any bad spots on these, you're gonna wanna cut them off. This one's got like a little bad spot. And also, any recipe that you use tomatillos in, they're probably gonna have you either roast them or cook them on a grill like we are going to first. It helps get rid of the bitiness of them. All right, get our onions on here going, our garlic. So right here, we're gonna get our tomatillos going. Just want everything to start to brown. Get some little blisters going. We're starting to get a little color on our garlic. We're starting to get some color on our tomatillos. I'm gonna move some of these around. There we go. My fingers to put this garlic. All right, once it starts to happen, it starts to go fast, guys. So then, once I have the bottoms turning, I like to cut them in half, let it fall open. I could use your hands. Oh, things are happening. Wait. Can you check the onions? I yeah. put them not that long ago. But you want them charred, charred. I mean, yeah, I would have liked that one a little darker, but that's what we're at now. And then I had to jump to the tomatillos. Are these getting Once it starts up? happening, it start, they're all gonna go in the food processor, so it doesn't matter. Well, I'm cutting them because they're bubbling up. Yeah, and, and then they're not getting... Center's not getting toasted. Thank you. And I hope everyone out there in TV land can see what's happening enough. Is it on right now? Here we are recording. We're live. All right. Can I get some peppers going? If you have space, I just couldn't deal too much at once by myself. So then once my tomatillos got dark spots on the bottom, I'm flipping them face down. This is kind of a long meal to make, but it's so delicious. It's so much better if it's homemade. smoke detector starts to go off you can start pulling them off the grill i think the onions are done yeah that looks good now i want these peppers to lay flat so i'm laying another heavy skillet on it and pressing down on it i'm calling these finished and if you didn't want to do these on a skillet like this you could always roast them in your oven we're gonna to have to let this stuff cool we'll pop back on when these are done to show you you see how that's flattened them? Now do we need the other side flattened as well? I just roasted them whole. I just popped the seeds out when I did it. So the other side probably doesn't really need it. I'd probably just let them dry a little bit, you know? Okay. We're gonna have one more pan full of peppers to do. And then our next process is the food processor. Our tomatillas have cooled down a little bit. And I'm gonna put all that liquid in here too. They're still a little hot, but they'll be all right to pulse now those in here and a handful of parsley now usually in this recipe i would add about the same amount of cilantro but because i am here at my mom's house and i know people don't really like it i'm not going to add it because i want help eating these our onions and our garlic are going in oh it's going to be real full now i'm going to stop there my food processor is pretty full so i am going to pulse this before i put the rest of the ingredients in give me a little more space there I'm going to add all of the green peppers, but only half of the jalapenos. Okay, now because we want this to be like a creamy salsa verde, I am going to add an avocado. Usually to this recipe, you would be adding some chicken stock. I am going to add some better than bouillon, no chicken base. It's like a teaspoon. It's like a teaspoon. Back to blending. I stopped once and wiped down the sides. I'm going to add a little bit of pepper. Give it one more whirl to mix that in, and then we're gonna taste it. I'm gonna add some more jalapeno. That's not very spicy. I'll put two more in. 
All right, we've got a little bit of heat now. We transferred our salsa verde into a pot. I would call it creamy salsa verde because we added the avocado. You could have stopped there and just eat this with chips or put it on any kind of taco or whatever you'd like. You could have stopped before we added the avocado and just had salsa verde. We are going to add some cream to this, some vegan cream plant-based because we want it to be extra creamy for our enchiladas. We're going to do a fourth of a cup. We do not want this to come up to a boil. We just want it to warm up. This is ready now. We're just going to set this aside and start making our filling. All right, I got a little bit of water in my skillet here. I'm just going to break this tempeh up into here or onto the counter. We'll get it back in there. I've chopped up some mushrooms. Oh, jeez. Having one of those days. All right, to that we are also going to add like a half a pack of mushrooms sliced up and about a fourth a cup of chopped onions. That piece is a little big, I'm not gonna use that one. I'm going to add pepper, nice healthy shake, and I'm gonna use chicken soup base. And I'm not gonna add any salt because this is salty already. This is vegan and we get it at the dollar store. I'm gonna start with two teaspoons. This is originally a dish that calls for chicken, which is why I went with the chicken soup base for this. Don't want anything to be too big pieces. I'm going to add two tablespoons of nutritional yeast. And I am using corn tortillas with this. If you don't have corn tortillas, if you're using flour and you want the corn flavor, at this point, I would add some corn meal to this. And it also just help thicken it up. We also want to add two tablespoons of our salsa verde. We're just going to totally let this cook down for a while. We'll be back in a couple minutes. You can see most of our liquid is cooked out of here. Me and mom both taste it. We think it's got a good flavor. At this point, I am going to add a fourth a cup of vegan cheese shreds, but this is optional. Any of the vegan dairy that I've added is optional in this today. Definitely optional. We're going to remove this from the heat and let it cool. We've got to be able to handle it so we can roll up our enchiladas. It is time to start putting our dish all together. I'm going to spray our pan with Pam. Then we want to cover the bottom of our baking dish with salsa verde. Now we're going to start rolling up our enchiladas. It's time to put these enchiladas together. We have these corn tortillas in a damp cloth that we steamed in the microwave in there like that for like a minute, minute and a half. You want to keep them wrapped up as to keep them soft. And put a nice strip of bean paste in there. Use whatever kind of refried beans you like, whatever recipe. And a nice helping of our filling. I did roughly divide this. I want to get eight out of it. This way, hopefully they will all be about the same size. Roll it up. I'm going to leave it with the tongue down and set it down in our dish. And you want these fairly hot to keep them from cracking. I am going to keep going until I have eight of these made in the dish. And then I will show you how I top them. All right, we're getting the last one. And doesn't that look nice? Now we are going to cover this. A nice, generous helping of our salsa verde. I like to totally cover all of the tortilla shell, and I like to have some left over to serve it with also. All right, let's find the middle right there. So I have some idea. Then I have some slices of vegan cheese here, and I'm just going to put them pretty much down the middle. This is optional, or you can use cheese shreds. Whatever you have available. Have some parsley for garnish. I would usually add some cilantro here, but again, my family is not into that. I'm going to cover this and pop it into an oven preheated at 350. Okay, it's been in the oven for 20 minutes. It looks nice and hot and sounds a little bubbly. We are gonna uncover it and return it to the oven. All right, we're let it cool. Finally, time for the taste test. This one is a little bit of a labor of love. It's creamy, it's got the corn flavor, tomatilla, salsa is delicious. I think you're gonna love this. It's definitely worth the effort.